Hello guys, I'm gonna do this nice effect. Okay, let's start. So get the type tool and type heat, enlarge it, then go to filter, add noise, median, and put it a number which is not too much where you can see here it started to touch, maybe put it 18. Okay, that's good. Then go to filter, liquefy, and put it 62 or whatever works for you and add the melt effect. Keep adding until you have until you have this. Okay, so I'm gonna add the effects back, go to blending options and start over how I did everything. So first I added a gradient overlay. Okay, so I added this color FDB 600 and EF2 D23. You can add other colors, whatever works for you. So I put the style linear, normal, minus 90 angle, and the rest. Then I added an inner shadow. Inner shadow, I put it overlay 100 opacity, 29 size, 90 angle, and the rest. And then inner glow, I put it on multiply, black, opacity 30, 60 size, and softer, and whatever you can see here. And then, that's the important part, I added a bevel, so I put inner bevel, smooth, and the depth, 500 worked for me, you can maybe put it another number which works for you, and then size 29, and gloss contour, I put it this one, make sure you put it this one, and angle 120, altitude 60, and make sure you add these as well, then add a contour, and I'm gonna put this shape here, and check this one here, and put 40 range, and then in the end, I added a drop shadow, a drop shadow, I put it black, 48, 13 distance, 85 spread, and the rest. And then I need to add the picture, so I have a picture of rain I got from Google for free. I'm gonna enlarge it, and then go to put it on color dodge, and put the fill on... 46 and then hold alt and click on the mask to add a black mask and get a brush which as big as the text and just with the four foreground of white just paint in the rain and we're about done that's it